When you hear about Washington, you probably think gridlock, but lawmakers are actually getting some things done, including making it easier for you to plan your retirement. The proposal could be law by the end of the year. So in this News 5 original, John Kosick breaks down what it would mean for you. There is a fundamental fact at play in America. People aren't saving enough for retirement. People are working longer. They're living longer. They're going to need more money. Jeffrey Noman is president of Barnes Wendling CPAs. He says employees of small businesses are often the most impacted. About half of the small employers don't have any plan whatsoever. And Washington really hasn't helped. The last major piece of retirement legislation that was passed was in 2006, like two years before the economic collapse, when a lot of companies got rid of pensions and 401k matches. It's a real problem because uh, people are living longer, healthier lives, and they don't have the savings to be able to take care of themselves. And those who have 401ks may not be aware of a simple quirk in the law, that when you turn 70 and a half, even if you're still working, the government right now requires you to start withdrawing that money. I'm hearing from Ohioans across the board, uh, you know, all different income levels saying, wait a minute, I'm still working. Why should I take my money out of my retirement plan and have to pay taxes on it? Let me keep it in there and let it continue to work for me. That's one of the changes in a bipartisan proposal by Senator Rob Portman and others to make it easier for those small businesses to offer plans to their employees and allow those over 60 to catch up by letting them contribute more to their 401ks and IRAs and let them contribute longer. Once you turn 70 and a half, currently you're not allowed to put any money in an IRA. Why? Well, they're going to eliminate that. Newman says don't feel overwhelmed if you're behind where you should be with your retirement plans, but also don't put off catching up. Start, start today. Today's a good time. John Kasich, News 5.